Hi guys, it's Aziz and I just wanted to show you the Google Glass or also known as Dodo Case. It's inspired by Google Glass as you can see here. Inspired by Google Cardboard, sorry not Google Glass, Google Cardboard. Um, I just wanted to show you what comes in the package. I've just taken out all the components um, out of the box and these are all the parts that came with it. I don't see the NFC tag anywhere. Maybe I'm mistaken. I'll find out when I read the instructions. These are the instructions I've given. Uh, you can also find these in the Google Cardboard website, how to make them. A friend of mine go, gave, gave it as a gift, so thank you very much if you're watching. So these are just the components, I'm going to read through it. I'm probably most likely going to fast forward the video while I'm making it, because I'm uh, very bad at making these things. And um, yeah, I'm just going to show you all the small components. These are the lenses, obviously. As you can see, these are the lenses. Um, this is the main thing the actual cardboard so I'm gonna have to fold it up and put some of these velcros on and after about five minutes I should be back so there you go guys this is how Google Cardboard looks once it's made I have made it, it took me roughly about five ten minutes to make it but it would have been much quicker if I read the instructions thoroughly before I started making it rather than doing it bit by bit um, it does say dodo case but it's inspired by Google Cardboard as I showed you before um, so how it works, you put your phone inside here, and you launch the app, I haven't got the NFC tag for some reason, but it's not a big deal, all that does is launches the Google Cardboard application, so if I can show you here, I've got the Google Cardboard app, so once you open it, it shows you how to make it, you hold on to it, and this is how basically the phone looks when it's not inside the um, cardboard, obviously at the moment it's showing too because two screens because I haven't put it in the uh, cardboard itself but when you do put it inside it shows you both of the um, it combines both of the screens so to navigate um, to select something or select a certain icon all you have to do is pull this ring you pull this ring and it selects it so that's a pretty neat idea just pull in this or oh, obviously at the moment it's not inside so you could just let's try going to YouTube you could do it with your finger also just to give you a um, brief look of how it looks outside the cardboard. So as you can see, um, I have to put a nice angle. Hopefully you guys can see that. So as you turn it around, you could access the other videos. Hi guys, so I'm back just to show you my impressions of the Google Cardboard. Hopefully you can see me properly. Um, it's kind of sunset now, so hopefully the light won't be too low. I've put the ISO up, hopefully that will help. Anyway, I've got the phone and I've got the cardboard. I'm just going to show you my first impressions. So, because it doesn't have the NSC tag, I'm just going to launch the application manually. So, this is the cardboard app. You use the proximity sensors and another sensor um, to, to see where you're looking, to check where you're looking. So, what you do, you just put this inside the cardboard. Hopefully, you can see that. And just shut this here so I'll just quickly go down this tutorial here just going down tutorial quickly it says cardboard tutorial hopefully you can see me yeah you can see me it says release the ring to click release the ring to click till to get home okay I think that's about it for the tutorial you got exhibit, let's quickly go into that. Wow, these are pretty awesome. Oh my days. This is really 3D. It's like virtual reality. I mean for like 15, 20 pounds, you can't really go wrong. You get a good gist of how it works. It's like being in a cinema about full throw down. Um or full throw uh, next to the screen itself. Um Okay, some random video just came up. Okay, what else have we got? We've got a photo sphere. I haven't got any spheres on the phone, so I don't think any, that would show anything. And you also got Street View. So let's check that. So Street View is basically showing me a fast forwarded video of some place, I'm guessing America. And it's just like going through the roads very fast. It's not like you're in a car or anything, it's just a recorded video. Probably most likely on top of a car, how the Google Street cars are. They just recorded the video with the camera on top of the car and it's just fast forwarded. I don't 
and that's my piece. So if you press the ring, it pauses that. Instead of going forward, it just pauses. So if you want to see something, you can see it. So there you go, guys. Just go back to the main screen. There you go, guys. I'm pretty happy with this. I actually like what it's capable of. Obviously, for £15-20, you can't expect too much. Um, but it definitely gives you a good experience of VR. If you do, if you guys do want to know exactly how it works, there is an awesome video by Unbox Therapy by Lou. Um, if you guys want to check that out, I'll put it in the description to show you exactly how it works. But there you go, guys. That's Google Cardboard, and that's my thoughts and impressions on it. Um, and do like this video. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And thank you very much for almost reaching 4,000 subs um, for helping me and supporting me. Do sh share this video with your friends and family. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.